Question 10 says, vector AB is negative 3, 5. Calculate the distance of AB. So we're going to do square root of square root of negative 3 plus 5 square. 9 plus 25, which is root 34. And root 34 is... 5.83. Then in the next part, they have given us AC and the point C. We have to find the coordinates of point A. So we know AC is basically AO plus OC. So since we're trying to find a, we have 6, 2 over here, A, O over here, plus 10, negative 1. So 6, 2 minus 10, negative 1, which is A, O, that is going to give us negative 4, because 6 minus 2 is negative 4, and 2 minus negative 1 is 3. Well, that's AO. We need to find OA. So OA, which is going to be the coordinates of A, is going to be the opposite, 4 and negative 3. Because we're changing the direction, so the signs change. So 4, negative 3. Then it says B is the midpoint of AD. Find the coordinates of D. So B is the midpoint of AD. So we just said A is... 4, negative 3. We know that AB is negative 3 and 5. So let's use that information to find B first. So AB is going to be OB minus OA. So negative 3, 5 is going to equal to OB minus 4, negative 3. So negative 3, 5 plus 4, negative 3 is going to give us negative 3 plus 4 is 1. And 5 minus 3 is 2. So this is our OB. So now B is the midpoint of AD. Midpoint formula is X1 plus X2 over 2, comma Y1 plus Y2 over 2. So we have 1, 2, the midpoint x1 which is going to be 4 plus x2 which is I'm going to say d is x2 and y2 so that you don't get confused over 2 and uh, negative 3 plus y2 over 2. So 1 is equal to 4 plus x2 over 2 which will give us uh, negative 2. And 2 is equal to negative 3 plus y2 over 2, which will give us 7. So that means d is negative 2 and 7. He says the diagram shows triangle OPQ. OP is P, OQ is Q, R is the point on OQ, such that OR is twice of RQ. S is the midpoint of PQ. Express as simply as possible in terms of P and or Q, the value of PQ. So PQ is going to be this one. So if we start from P, go to O, and then from O, go to Q, that's going to equal to PQ. 
So PQ is PO plus OQ. So PO is going to be opposite of P, which is negative P. And OQ is this. So negative P plus Q is your answer to the first part. Then it says OS. So to find OS, This is OS and S has been given as the midpoint of PQ. Yep. So that means this is going to be negative P plus Q over two. So for OS, we're going to do OP plus PS, which is P plus q minus p over 2 and that's 2p plus q minus p over 2 and that equals to p plus q over 2 that is os then it's asking us find sr so to find sr just going to remove this we will do this is SR. So they've told us that OR is twice of RQ. So that means if OR is twice of RQ, you know OQ is Q. So OR would be 2 over 3 times OQ which is going to be two thirds of Q and RQ is going to be one thirds of Q. We have to find SR. SR will be SQ plus QR. So that's going to be equal to SQ is half of this. So that is once again, negative P plus q over 2 plus negative 1 over 3 q. Negative p plus q over 2 gets multiplied by 3 and negative 1 over 3 q gets multiplied by 2. It's going to give us negative 3 p plus 3q over 6 minus 2q over 6. That's going to be q minus 3p over 6, which is q over 6 minus p over 2.